G'day everyone, well it's finally here. The red rut for 2023. This is my first rut. I've never experienced it before, so I don't know what to expect. I don't know what I'm gonna see, what I'm gonna hear. Um, if I hear anything, I'll be happy. This is a forest I've put about nine months into, nine, 10 months. I don't know how many trips, maybe nine trips out here. Um, it's been really frustrating, I've got to admit. Um, countless trips where there's nothing on camera, haven't seen any sign, but I've put a long time into this one. So I'm gonna stick it out. Seven days, we'll see what happens. This is exciting, yes. Reaches and see what happens. I've just got the top set up in time. There's a huge storm rolling in. Probably two hours before it's dark. I think I'm going to be sitting this one out. Not moving for a while. And here it comes. storms finally passed um, some idiot left the, uh, the window of his tent open so he came back to a soaked doona and a soaked mattress <laughs> so I've been running the car well, I've been running the car for the last hour and a half with the heater on <laughs> to dry everything out Oh, hopefully that's the uh, the only dumb move I'll make this trip. First day of hunting tomorrow. Let's get at it. Morning. It's 4.55. 24th of March. First day of the hunt. Have my coffee. And we're just going to listen for a little bit. Maybe take a walk. Well, we're heading out again this evening. Nothing happened this morning. Did hear one shot from a few valleys over. I'm pretty sure I saw their head torch moving down the, the side of the hill in the darkness, but that's all I heard today. Checked the camera and since the start of February there was only one group of does and a, a young buck in one day. Now the 24th of March, so not a lot of deer come through, but fingers crossed. Keep plugging away, see what happens. Well, second evening, second rainstorm. Just moved off that way, I've been hiding under a tree for the last 20 minutes. Uh, but now it's beautiful evening. Oh, this weather's crazy. Anyway, heading back to camp. No luck tonight, but uh, it's gonna be a patience game. Just keep slowly chipping away at this one. Haven't heard any roars yet. Fingers crossed, we'll hear one. Until tomorrow.
Well, day three, still no roars, and it's raining. So we'll set up this little tarp, and we're just going to sit here and see what happens. And if nothing happens in the next two hours, I'm going back for a quesadilla. It is quiet and wet. I picked up the camera. There's, there's a couple of stags on the camera. Um, 16th and the 18th. It's 24th or 25th today. Um, they're in here. Gotta get one. We have a case of deer. Start. Finish. Looks like night three might be a bust. Put up a pig a couple hundred meters back there, but couldn't get a shot at it. It was moving too quick. Um, I think it scented me. Um, by the time I loaded and actually had a rest, it was way gone. No chance, but we're still trying. Morning. Okay, short and sweet, it's day five. It's been raining all day, it's been bucketing down. So about 2.30, just managed to get out from under the tarp. We're going for a walk down to the very, very end of the system. I'm just gonna sit and wait. I've been told I'm good authority that the roar hasn't properly started yet here. It will happen, just be patient. So, right, cheers for the giddy up. I needed that boost. So I'm feeling motivated again. We're in for the long haul. It's gonna happen. Just gotta stay positive and stick it out. So let's see what tonight brings. Still a little bit of time yet, but donut. And again, day six. In this morning, I think about it, but a pretty good idea now of what we're doing. Um, let me check out the game camera and uh, got some really, really good information off it. So, fingers crossed, I'm gonna leave that area for a while. See what's, what I think is gonna happen. Just gonna have to recce on the other side of the forest today just to, just to see what's there. Um, pretty sure there's no deal in this area I don't know if I the other side but it's got a morning it's not raining we need to take a look and see what info we can find it's a pretty looking forest though Bigger than the thumb. That is beautiful. That's wild. Oh, 
I'm not affiliated with these guys at all. Terra Rossa gear, Ben and Melbourne. Ben, <laughs> life-saving little tar. I love this thing. No rain jacket, stuck in a storm, completely dry. Fantastic. Those gave us a slip, um, but we saw animals. That's the first animal I've seen in person in this forest. So uh, we're sitting up top of the ridge tonight. We've got camp set up. Uh, we're just going to poke around and have a little bit of a listen. Place a couple of cameras, make a plan for tomorrow. There is still hope. It still may happen. Let's see. Mm -hmm. So a little context on what's coming up next. After seven, eight days straight, no luck, low animals, um, kind of given up to be honest. And I uh, was just out, thought I'd go for a little walk around camp, just sort of enjoy the evening, watch the sunset. And uh, of course this happens. Oh my god, oh my god, oh, I f***ing shot a stag, oh, oh my god, oh he's just laying down there, oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> I was just sitting here eating jerky, and I've just heard a noise from up there, oh, I'm shaking, I've done it, oh Excuse the language. I've just shot a stag. Oh, I've been looking at this forest for 10 months. Oh, for 10 months I've been going to this forest. I've done it. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God, he's down. He's only 25 meters away. Oh, I can smell him. I can smell him. Oh. 
Oh. I'm just gonna come. Stop. Just let him settle. Seven days, seven days is nothing. And we've done it, we've got him. Oh wow. Oh wow, this is something else. This has been eight days in the forest, I think. One day recce and seven days of hard, 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 hard thing. Every day, storms, rain, howling wind. Just everything. No luck whatsoever. All of a sudden, a break in the weather. A cold night. It's got the animals moving. We've done it. We've done it. Oh my God, he is massive. I can't even move him. I cannot even move him out of here. He's all jammed up. Um, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, and a little tiny nub. I can't even see where the other antler is. I assume it's there, I hope it's all there. I don't even, oh, oh, he smells. He smells incredible. I don't even know how I'm gonna get him out of here. All right, let's sort some stuff out. Oh. I cannot believe the size of this thing. This thing is huge. This is the biggest animal I've ever taken. This is, I've only ever hunted fellow before this. This is the first time hunting reds. This is just, I can't even move it out of the logs. <sighs> wow. We've taken a few big chances and big gambles lately. We've tried everything, nothing's been working. We saw a couple of does this morning, had no chance of them, but here up with a friend, we got camped together and he kept saying, and he knows his stuff, it'll happen, they're gonna move around, they're cold, they don't wanna be in the same spot, they're looking for sun, they're looking for feed. First break in the weather, and they were all out. For the animal this size, it made no sound. It was the tiniest of snapping branches. I just thought it was birds in the tree. I was, I was eating jerky, just staring out into the gully and all of a sudden heard another crack. I'd seen this bit of movement and all I could see was this giant head. Dude, I couldn't even see the antlers at that stage. I just saw this giant head and body just moving sort of just up 10 meters up from me, but along my same line. Managed to get a round in the chamber, which wasn't easy. Twisted around sideways and got a shot on him. And then he just stood there. So I don't know if buck fever, I missed that first shot, but he just stood still looking straight at me. And I got a second shot on him, pretty good shot. And then he came down the hill. And as he was coming down the hill, I got a third shot on him. So one of them has gone right through the shoulders here. So. It's actually broken his front leg. Um, I'm not sure where it's gone into him, but it should be another shot on the other side. So there you go. Public land, red stag. No easy way of getting this guy. Seven, eight days, hard work. Man, I almost gave up so many times, but, oh, this is worth it. I don't even know how I'm gonna get him out of here. <laughs> This is just massive. This is so much work now. The hard work's gonna really, really begin. But this is incredible. Worth every bit of pain, disappointment, doubt. And then it all just changes in, a, in seconds. Oh, I'm gonna get at it. I am happy. Red deer rut hasn't kicked off yet. But it's produced the goods. I'm so happy. That's great.
it. 10.30 at night. It's the last pack out. We've got all the meat out. As much as we could get. Got the head taken off. So we get that back to camp. Got 5% left on the head torch. 10% left on the phone. So, we're going to get out of here. My mate's already back at camp. He's up doing three loads. They cannot thank you enough for your help. Not only this afternoon, but on this whole trip. Great company, great times, good laughs. Eight days, hard work. Nothing was easy about this one. I almost gave up so many times. But I stuck at it with a lot of support and encouragement from a few friends and my partner at home. This is the last day. Technically I've got tomorrow, but I've got to get going. So this was the last day to hunt and we made it happen. Don't ever give up, just keep going. You just got to grind it out, grind it out and it will happen. Mate, I'm going home with the stag of a lifetime. I'm stoked. See you on the next one.